Have you guys seen how clean the Stang is right now? Oh my god. Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> Look at them big oaks though, dude. Ugh. Love to them haters. Shining. She's staying safe inside the garage. The inside, I haven't vacuumed it yet, but... Oh, she's nice. She smells good, too. Spotless. Mm-mm-mm. What's happening, everybody? Street here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Stang Stories. So, as you guys can see, the Mustang is super clean, dude. It took a couple of hours yesterday. Detail the inside. Clean the outside. It looks so good. I fall in love with this car more and more every day. And, um, you know, I can't get enough of it, man. It's like, if I'm not driving it, I'm watching your guys' channels. Uh, if I'm not watching your guys' channels, I'm making my own videos about the Mustang. And it just Mustang, Mustang, Mustang. You know, it's like I can't get enough, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm hooked. I'm hooked on it. I can't, I can't not think about it all the time. I can't not want to participate in Mustang activities. That being said, I've been watching a lot of you guys. First of all, shout out to Mustang Mike, dude. Thank you so much for the shout out on your channel. Um, you know, helping promote my channel is amazing. I thank everybody who over the last few months has helped me. Um, just kind of get out there. Those of you guys who have bought uh, merch and are sharing that on social media, awesome, dude. I, I love seeing you guys wearing my designs, and uh, I'm getting great, great, great compliments on a lot of the designs, and more coming. I've, I've already designed two more. I have to upload and get them onto the market. Um, and shout out to uh, Rated R Cars. You are becoming vastly one of my favorite Mustang vloggers. I love your content. Um, I think it would be amazing to collaborate with you, um, but we're a little too far apart. You're on that side of the country. I'm on this side of the country, and you know I feel like we have a lot in common. We're both drone enthusiasts, and uh, we both enjoy our, our comedic aspects of making videos. So that being said, um, I was watching Xander 13's video, kind of you know stating you know what his thoughts were on the tick and. How a lot of guys are out there making tick videos just for the views who don't even own Mustangs. And, you know, and then CJ Pony Parts kind of made their video about how, you know, not to worry too much about it or should you worry about it. And then, you know, as Xander says, I start seeing other videos popping up and I don't want to be part of of that gravy train that is like, oh, they're, they're, they're sparking up the Mustang tick again. Let's make a video because you guys know in my last video, I said I wanted to start getting away from the Mustang engine tick stuff and start promoting happier times with my car. And I mean, this is my baby, dude. I've, I've busted my ass to get this car and to make it work. And that is still my plan, you know? I feel like I have a legitimate reason to discuss this with you guys right now. I don't want to say I was the guy or that I'm the start of all this, but I was one of the original guys to document the entire saga um, with diagnosing this engine tick. I know it's been around for years and years and years, um, but I feel like I took it to a next level and kind of gave you guys these major updates and was back and forth with Ford and I was feeding you guys information. And that being said, um, not that I'm taking responsibility, but I feel like I want to comment on the possibility that maybe I have unintentionally helped spread some misinformation about it. I mean, my videos exploded and people were just gravitated towards it and it's like you know it's one of those drama aspects that people love drama they they want to get in there they want to you know throw their opinion out and then i started seeing guys making videos of dude their engine is dust you know like oh here it is getting put on a tow truck 
engine failed, you know, and, and well, what was the common denominator between, you know, all these issues that were arising? The common denominator was the engine tech. You know, then I started investigating on forums and Facebook groups, and it just all kind of fit together. What the internet has done, including myself, is we've taken a bunch of theories and we've kind of balled them up. And 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 then I think other people as well as some of us have just ran with it. Like, it's a problem. We need to know what happens. And, you know, I, I still stand by it is a problem and we need an explanation. But the problem is, is that Ford has no explanation. So they're kind of giving you the, it's, you know, half of the dealerships are like, it's normal. Half of them are like, no. In my personal situation, the Ford field investigator said it's not normal. The Ford engineering team that was looking at my car said it's not normal. And my service tech said it's not normal. I'm going to believe them over anybody I hear on the internet. Sorry, that's just, you know, I'm going to believe the experience and the guys who have their hands in it all day over the randoms on the internet that are just spewing information and helping misguide people. Um, so that's kind of where I stand on on the whole internet theory, rumor, dilemma. People comment on my channel all the time about my car is ticking, what should I do? And here's what I tell all of them. Take it into your dealership and have them document it. Show them. Don't drop it off for the day. They will just tell you that you couldn't replicate it or they didn't hear it or whatever. Bring it in. Get the service advisor out there. Get a technician out there and show them exactly what it's doing so that they acknowledge. They look you in the eye and acknowledge that they hear it. Have them put it on the record. If they want to take it for the day and change the oil or something and just kind of see, you know, fine. Don't let them open your engine all up, man. They ripped mine apart and I was absolutely disgusted with what I saw happen to my car. There's no answer for this yet. So don't let them go further than maybe just changing some oil or something and seeing what happens. I heavily, heavily promote waiting. If you're warrantied like I am, waiting and seeing if we can get some more information on what happens to the car um, or what, see if we can get some more information on what's going on with the car before we do any other major repairs. Every single person I know that I've talked to on Instagram and YouTube, and I have talked to feels like hundreds, but it's probably been 30 to 40 people. Every one of them that's got a long block and a short block replaced, start ticking again, which makes me think that either there's this huge design flaw with these motors, or it really is a common issue and that it's just something, it's just one of those characteristics. But the problem with that is, is that Majority of the 18 Mustangs do not make that sound, and 19s, um, you know, they don't make that sound. So if it's normal, why don't they all sound like that? That's kind of the problem that I have with it. And if you ask Ford to give you a legitimate explanation, they don't have one. So if it was normal, they would be able to tell you exactly what it is, and they'd be able to make sense of it, and they can't. So, you know, it's, again, one of those things, let's just wait. Let's enjoy our cars, and uh, we'll see what happens. What all, what more can you say about that? You know, um, I plan on as of right now. I plan on keeping my car. I have uh, two and a half more years of a bumper to bumper. My three thirty six. I have an additional two years after that, and actually now after my repairs, I have an additional year. Um, of the uh, extra extra care through Ford that they've offered me for my inconvenience thus far. So I'm going to take it day by day and just enjoy the hell out of the car like I have been. And I want to start promoting more um, good times in my Mustang. I want to promote the enjoyment I get out of my Mustang because the experience of owning and driving one of these bad boys is absolutely incredible. I cannot explain how much I love this car other than that damn engine tick.
The other part of the engine tech that I want to kind of comment on real quick is the uh, the use of oil additives and friction modifiers. I have been absolutely inundated by Ceratech videos and people commenting on my videos saying, use it. If I don't use it, I'm an idiot. If you use it, you're going to find that you've, you know, bettered your engine. It's going to be better overall, you know, and, and all of that might be true. Uh, but it specifically states in the Ford manual not to use oil additives or you're going to void your warranty or you could possibly void your warranty. And I'm not looking to void my warranty right now, which is kind of the reason why I haven't gone full blown on mods yet and uh, started tuning my car, which I fully intended on doing before the engine tick. Um, but I do have some stuff I want to talk to you guys about on mods and we're going to use that on a different video. That'll probably be the next video um, that comes out on my channel after this one, but it it specifically states in the manual not to use oil additives or you could, you could void your warranty. So I don't want to mask the issue right now. Um, you know, it obviously drives me nuts. I, I, it comes and goes. I hear it sometimes, sometimes I don't, you know, the other day I pull out of the parking lot and I could hear it against some guy's car as I'm backing out, you know, tap, 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 tap. And you know it's frustrating, but at this point, we don't know what's happening and I don't want to risk at all anything to void a warranty and make it so that Ford isn't going to cover this. Cause I, we all know Ford would find a way out if it could. So I don't want to do that. And those of you guys who don't have warranties, more power to you. I laughed greatly. Um, <laughs> watching Michael Mack change his oil. God, I love watching Michael Mack change his oil. I mean, at least he's changing it himself. I'm not doing it myself, but still, it's just pure comedy, bro. I love it. Um, more of those. Let's just do somebody put together like a good, like montage. <laughs> Michael Mack changes his oil. Uh, I love it. Um, but you know, he had a commenter in one of his videos saying, dude, don't use Ceratec. It's going to void your warranty. And he's all, what warranty? And I was like, yeah, he ain't got no warranty, dude. He's, <laughs> he voided his warranty long ago. So people that don't have a warranty, by all means, dude, if it fixes the problem, well, it's not fixing it, but if it, if you don't hear that tick anymore, you know, great. He sent his oil in and it didn't look like it was, you know, didn't look like there was a problem as far as the oil's concerned. So, you know, to those guys, heck yeah. But I still have my warranty. I got two and a half more years of my 336, and then I got another two years. So I don't want to take any chances avoiding that right now. And uh, so I'm not going to be using any oil additives, power up, Ceratec, any of the other stuff. I'm good. I'm just going to keep on putting miles on my car, and we'll see what happens. All right, guys, I've talked your ear off long enough. I just, I felt like it was my duty to kind of give my input on this situation. I want to thank Xander13 for, you know, the information that he's put out. Uh, a little disappointed by that you have not bought a club t-shirt yet because you're officially part of the club now, dude. Like, what's going on? You, you need a t-shirt. We need, we need t-shirts around the world so we can all unite in some fashion. So let's just go ahead and wrap it up here. You know, I'm going to promote good times with my car now. I don't want to continue on this engine tick crap. If something arises and there's new information, I'll post it out there. And if not, dude, just be on the lookout for more content from the Mustang. It's 2019. I want to wish everybody a happy new year. It's going to be a great 2019. I hope things are better than 16, 17, and 18. God only knows that it's been rough over here in the middle of all these devastating and heartbreaking wildfires in California. So good times ahead and uh, be on the lookout for more content. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at silverstang707 for daily content on the car. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. See you next time.